would you like to give us a uh, brief brief as on your experience whatever the tech stack you have worked on and the projects that you have worked on and the uh, brief uh, overview on the functionality of those and your role uh, actually uh, like i am working as a software engineer at uh, my role is a ideal developer uh, uh, i have worked on uh, two projects and one support project so i am currently working on uh, like a anti money laundering project of a banking domain uh, for a client of a kosha bank so the main object of our, uh, our project is that we extract the data from the different sources systems uh, from different countries to roll it into one enterprise data lake so from that the end users will be generate that customer is creating a name scanning reports so i have worked on the project of customer is creating a name scanning so the project is majorly divided into three groups so like first layer is like a technical zone second one is the enterprise zone third one is the consumer zone in technical zone the we will collect the data from different source systems of different countries and uh, we will mark the data uh, like a uh, customer information mobile number address and uh, some some more data address phone number uh, then we will use the marked data for our next level in the enterprise zone so in the enterprise zone we have implemented all our business logic uh, and we have like uh, we have been like we have uh, secured the customer account number customer we have secured, we have provided security to the uh, customer uh, customer information and then we have uh, we have done the data manipulation uh, data cleansing data cleaning and uh, and then final layer uh, we will provide that tag to customer only and uh, we will provide act to accounts based on the like these conditions like uh, how many days the act to account will be there so based on some client requirement we have sent the act to accounts and act to customers to the end users and the end users will generate the uh, reports for the uh, name scanning and crr reports yeah that's okay. it my current work yeah so i mean what are the tools that you have used and softwares that you I have used to done the talent a talent tool that i have okay so talent is used for i mean in with you have said we have you yes, are yes. using uh, you, the product is divided into three different zones right so yes, which yes. part of those uh, talent is used yeah it's a total complete project on talent only Okay, so what are all the palettes that you have used? Huh? What palette? Palette, talent, palette. Okay, so I have used the file connections, the Oracle connections, and the SQL Server connections, and uh, I have used like a T high components, and I have T map, a T filter, and a T sample columns. I have T Java row components. T sometimes we have we have need to execute some SQL commands, so I have used like a database. Uh, database will like for i can roll a uh, sql row and high components uh, to execute sql queries uh, and i have into t aggregated process from that needed okay so in this particular project right you, you said you have been a developer and into support projects as well so ah uh, no the... uh, so the support was a different project so like Okay, okay, so this is complete development. You you development and uh, we will provide like uh, if any issues will come in the uh, like production, yeah. we will. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, what what are all the common issues that you have faced while using talent for in the, in your project? What what's the what are the typical errors and their root cause? So, in handling the data functions, uh, we have faced so many issues, uh, like. Like then we also we while handling the like customer account number like customer we will generate like different customer numbers and uh, account numbers we will combine we will like we have to join those uh, both information and we have to load it some other table uh, by using some standardization tables so, so while they have uh, like implementation was difficult. Uh, Uh, we have noticed that some issues while uh, handling with the files, uh, like uh, sometimes we are not receiving the files in on time, so we have automated the process uh, by using T wait for file functionality, and uh, we have which, also which function can you please repeat it? 
so sometimes a few files are missing uh, like we have like yeah, eight right. huh. so is so sometimes we will, the client will generate a uh, eight batch files uh, for like we have we are we, for one country it's caribbean countries so it was 11 countries data will be available so okay. there are eight uh, different source system so so we will receive 11 marker files like 11 touch files we will receive so if we receive 11 touch files only that's our next job has to trigger okay so we have implemented such scenario so okay yeah. so i mean i would like to hear something like technical errors like the errors that talent throws uh, talent throws but i didn't say too much errors i have said that like normal errors like the null handling well there is nothing there is null then we have like okay so when you use team up right let us say yes. the you you mentioned the column name and the, and the data type right yes sir so what happens when the source data type is not compatible with the target data type so how do you handle that in team up so it will find that can't convert like a into string or string to integer yeah so initially we have is a t schema check of file handling that of like schema issue so we have handled like schema check for the like comp uh, issue and uh, for if you if there is a multiple like uh, columns changes the data type then we have t convert type function t convert map so if it is small then we will uh, change it in a t map as well like by using the like, uh, string function like to convert into string or to convert into int. Okay, so let us say there are some special characters in the junk characters in your data. Okay. So what kind of error would, uh, uh, will talent throw any error and if it does, what is the error and how, how would you handle that? I think if there is any column with a different uh, like yeah, special characters will be there. No, that are not not uh, uh, accepted by a normal uh, uh, data type. Sorry, but I didn't. I'm not. I didn't get that error. Sorry, I'm not aware of that. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Vishnu, I want to ask one more question in our talent. Uh, okay. So you might you have seen built-in repository, I mean, built-in and repositories both, right? Yes, yes. So what exactly is the difference between those two? Uh, built-in, like uh, we can edit our, uh, like a connection name, so anything we can change, we can edit that in built-in. The repository is uh, like a standard, uh, standard, uh, standard name. So mm -hmm. once we create it, will be default will be the, like a uh, repository only. Mm -hmm. When we change built-in, we can access that. We can edit, we can change. So in your project, uh, uh, did you use built-in or uh, repository? Uh, we have its repository only. All right. So do you have aware about uh, the context variable versus uh, global variable in talent? Uh, yes, uh, we have we have our context variable and global variable. So. What exactly is so, the uh, difference between those? Uh, context variables are there are you know, few types of context variables. We can create a context variable job level or project mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. So in our project, we have implemented in a job level only. Mm -hmm. So global variables are accessible throughout the project, uh, whereas context variables uh, values will be in uh, about job level only. Okay, but uh, uh, variable is fine. We can define yes. uh, job level, but uh, yes. Um, for that context variable, where you will get the values so, when you run the uh, job? We have given one path that to store that of all variables, mm -hmm. file path. So we will load the all values by uh, like a file. Mm -hmm. So when moving to one environment, the file path will be different. But where where different. you will place that file? Uh, you know, generally we used to get the values from that file you are saying, right? So mm -hmm. where you supposed to uh, place that file so that our talent jobs will get the values? So our customer has provided one path for us to store that uh, file. Mm -hmm. So each environment, it will be different. So we have given that path only. 
So if you want to edit any, then we will go to our like put the server. Then we can edit that one. We have access. So this is uh, uh, you are saying for context variable, we will get uh, values from a specific yes, file. Yes. But uh, what about uh, global variable? From where we will get the values for the global variable? So uh, like uh, for global variable, mostly we have used a uh, constant values only. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we have used a uh, current date functions for uh, like. we have some functional that every time we hit take current at minus 1 so mm -hmm. we have for that case we have used the global variable mm -hmm. so well. let's say we have some scenario like uh, uh, you know impala as well right along with the hive impala no, no, I am not. no. you you didn't use impala components in your talent no okay okay so i i will tell you one scenario like uh, i have a setup table names okay okay so uh, let us say we have a 100 table names i need to get a count of uh, all the count of records of the tables okay if i input is the list of tables then output i need to get the table name as well as the total count of the table so what component that you will place in a job okay first of there are 100 tables so we have to get the uh, 100 tables count right correct uh means the table names will be like uh, same on like how it will be there yeah it's a, it's a, in a purely hive table uh, we have a 100 unique tables are okay which okay, are already present in a hadoop so need to okay. get a 100 tables count by using that job sorry sorry that time that time sorry sorry i am not aware of that okay but you, you got the scenario house, right yes. you got the scenario right ah, yes i got it all right okay uh, so can you please uh, tell me about the tmap the functionality one or two example how you have utilized tmap in your uh, jobs uh, like uh, so uh, when a tmap i have used to for joining sir so first of all, scenario is uh, we have to join with a customer account uh, in first we will generate a customer key and uh, account key and uh, mm -hmm. there is a one table like excel of table which is which will contain the most uh, like a uh, relation of uh, customer and account information so mm -hmm. we will join these three tables uh, to get that uh, one table is the, like a tab table so it is a big table of uh, our project so we will store the all uh, customer account and the, the relation number relationship will be loaded into the in that table by like a, so there are some country codes table will be there um there are some uh, country met country country codes and mm -hmm. there are few tables like that we will join uh, we have joined with four tables uh, to standardize the data mm -hmm. so i am not getting that i forgot about those tables all right when you create a job in a talent okay. then uh, i mean what file you will take is it export to file you will take and what type of file build job build job build job yeah build job right yes so you know uh, how to publish a job and how to export or how to build a job yes i know how to publish a job how to build job so whatever you build the job uh, that zip file you are using your own your company uh, having its own uh, scheduler then you are uh, run those yes. jobs through that scheduler right yes yes so okay so what the scheduler exactly will do like uh, would he it will take a zip file or uh, is there any spark code or uh, some uh, shell script uh, etc so we can uh, use the uh, you know to run those yes only so our schedule is work on like a shell script only Mm -hmm. So we have to pre we have to prepare a shell script for the execution of job. Okay. So like uh, every job will be like a different task. So we will create a group and uh, and in, in in that group we will have sub tasks will be there. So we can set up a dependency by task one task two. Mm -hmm. Or we can define the dependency in a group level as well. so if any job got failed uh, you know during the running time so yes. how you are, you are going to see the logs on from where you will see there, is there any gui for that scheduler that you are referring 
Ah, yes, it's your Jiva, yes. So, do we get a, uh, you know, complete log information in that uh, uh, so log file? We will file? use log catcher. We will store the log failure log in the log catcher table. Mm -hmm. So, from that, we will get to know what is the reason of failure. Okay. So, okay, you also involved to troubleshoot those uh, errors? So I have involved a few less, a few of We have less, like a, we are working on like a important, there is separate team to work on uh, failures. Mm -hmm. So I have given support to the few things. Acha. So what so exactly you work, role, what exactly your role in our project? Like uh, only development or operation also? Only or, development, uh, like uh, if there is a, any doubt on the code level, they will ask. Uh, like, mm -hmm. If you need any help, then we will provide them. Okay. So in your resume, you you mentioned the Python and Shell script also you have used in the project, right? Oh uh, no, I have learned that. Uh, I have learned my own self, Python. Okay, you learn. Yes. But, but uh, you learned. you didn't use uh, those in uh, your project. Yes, so we have prepared some scripts of like uh, to run some scripts on a Hive table. What is, can you please tell me the one example? What type of shell script that you have written? So once all our execution will be completed, we have to generate one exit criteria report. Mm -hmm. So it uh, that report contains that uh, they are like values for a CRR and name scanning values. Mm -hmm. So there will be like a, each zone values will be there. So how many customers are accounts coming from that technical zone? So how much, how many are eliminated in the enterprise zone? Like mm -hmm. then there is some type of scenario. So we have implemented in our job a SQL command to insert those things. So it will be insert with the zone, job name, a table name, mm -hmm. and then uh, like uh, uh, customer info. Uh, sometimes we have to calculate difference also. So we have implemented insert queries uh, to load that data. So, uh, did you work on subqueries as well in SQL? But I didn't work in subqueries, uh, but uh, I have knowledge on subqueries. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I think you are using Hadoop, right? Like Cloudera Manager or any other uh, uh, you are using? As Cloudera only, we are working on external table concept, like uh, we are loading into external table. Okay. Any optimization that you did it? Apart from this talent uh, jobs, uh, is there any optimization? Like if your job is uh, uh, you know running a more time than the usual, so that time did you do any optimization in that job so that uh, the performance will be increased? Uh, yes, I have used like uh, we have uh, we are using like uh, initially partitions of buffeting concept to load the data, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have also vectorized property we have used it. It's a property to and uh, we are using a test engine to load, like uh, test the data and load the data. So it is somewhat fast. What, what? Can you please repeat that? A TZ engine, yes, to load and extract the data. TZ engine? Yes. Okay, TZ engine is mostly, it will work on memory, right? Uh, yes. So your cluster is having a, a complete memory, like to run all your jobs, if you do like uh, that? Yes, sir. yes, yes. It's like a, it's a big, um, a big project that means we have like around 500 GB cluster will be there. Mm -hmm. So you never faced any out of memory exceptions type of errors? Uh, yes, we will not. So, yeah, we have received one vertex failure we have received. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we have some source we are getting that uh, daily duplicate records. Okay. So every time it's like uh, doubling the records. Mm -hmm. So one kind day it has reached around 11 cross, 12 cross records. Mm -hmm. That day while joining with the, that much of huge tables. So, Mm -hmm. uh, we have failure, vertex failure, like out of memory issue. Mm -hmm. So, so we have raised an incident with our hosting. Uh, it uh, it's like happened in production only. So that time I have taken care. So uh, uh, you said you are getting uh, duplicate records. So you didn't handle duplicates while loading data from source to your stage table. 
uh, there is few tables we have to like load full data. So few ta few tables we have handled those things. Sir. So uh, when you are getting data from so what I mean, so uh, are they are they having any primary keys in their table? What primary keys? Uh, no, no primary keys in the table. So duplicate means is it record level duplicates or column level duplicates you are talking about? Record level duplicates. So if it is record level duplicates, then while writing data to uh, our stage tables, then definitely uh, we might have done uh, duplicate checks, right? Record level duplicate checks. Like uh, it will be most structured data only. So. So as for our concern, we don't need that uh, duplicate uh, issue. So only one time happened this was. Uh, mm -hmm. at least that is due to that uh, source migration issue. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so what type of files, uh, file format that you have used in your project, like uh, while creating uh, a table? So actually we will receive dot .gz files. So, so first we will extract those files and then in that we will get a CSV file. Okay. So after extraction, we will load the CSV files into the higher table. So all your external table that you have created are external, I mean, are CSV uh, compatible, right? Uh, can you repeat that question? Question is, you said you are mm -hmm. getting uh, CSV dot, I mean, CSV files from yes. source, yes. so that uh, the same file format that you are maintaining in a Hadoop also, right? While creating external table in Hive. Yes, same file. Okay, so what may be the file size for each run? Like every day, uh, if your uh, your jobs are running, so what may be the largest file size that uh, being loaded to your uh, stage tables on Hadoop? So uh, it was a daily load. Uh, it will be around uh, like I don't know exact that number. I have count of that. So around uh, twenty nine lakhs of customers will be there. Okay. Okay. So that is the incremental load or it's full load? Uh, like that, incremental load. So if it is incremental load, let us say uh, yesterday that uh, data got loaded to your uh, state table from source, right? So uh, I mean today if uh, some records got modified and some record uh, uh, you know, are coming as a new, so how will you handle that? Because in a ta in a target table, right? Whatever modified that should be updated, and whatever the records which are not present in a target table, and present in a source table should be append, right? How you are uh, handling that? Handling that? Actually, our process is how we start. We will dump the all data from from source to our hive. Mm -hmm. Then we'll start our like our process will be started. How you will do the that process? Like, okay, from from source to uh, you know our uh, archive directory. You are dumping every files from the source yes, yes. from archive to, to load actual table. So how you will segregate it, and what mechanism that you are following to load data as a incremental? Uh, like uh, uh, we have used the date column. Yes, on the current date minus one date column we have implemented. We will select the max date column. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I know, I know. See. Uh, mm -hmm. the files which are modified after yesterday's load supposed to pick from I mean supposed to pick in today's load okay mm -hmm. that is fine if if all those are in insert then that is fine because that is an incremental load if these files will be appended but my question is let us say you have a 10 files new files okay mm -hmm. out of 10 5 are updated okay 5 are new so when we are trying to you know, uh, yeah, append or uh, load data into incremental mode. So this out of 10, five should be updated and five should be inserted, right? Through our job. Yes, yes. So yes. how you generated that logic? Because we do not have primary keys in our target table, right? Yes. So how you have handled? But we will receive only one file on the daily. Basis. I do, I do, I do understand one file only. But in the that file consists of some records, right? Some number of yes, records. Yes. So, uh, if it is a full load, then that's fine. You know, whatever the file is coming, 
you simply place in a, a uh, you know that path table path then it's fine but since you are saying it is a incremental load then how can you manage or how can you update the records actually we would, we should now we don't need to update but every time it will be uh, like a different partition will be there mm -hmm. so while while uh, in enterprise zone uh, all data will be loaded in a tip table like tar tr and table. there are few mm -hmm. tables which will store the high amount of data mm -hmm. so while joining with the tables we have like a it will select the today's data and will check uh, like uh, you know std1 std type like that it will insert the data mm -hmm. okay so, so i mean you you might have used t java and t java or both the palettes right uh yes you may know the difference between these two t java and t java or like uh, t java or is a so i have t java is a basic component uh, so we have to write or, or if you want to execute any codes, uh, uh, we can use uh, T-Java, where T-Java is like a, it's a different functionality. So we can like uh, we can generate our own code. Like uh, for example, if we can copy schema from a ta uh, target uh, one table to another table, then we can add columns. Uh, and uh, if you want to do some operations on columns, so then we can use T-Java. Uh, but uh, T Java or needs T Java doesn't uh, doesn't need any input column. But uh, T Java so we can use uh, input uh, input input uh, component to connect and we can do implementation on that column value. And we can also use any code Java code to execute. So if I put some code in T Java right? Will yes. that code does that does the output of the code can be passed to the other next component? Like that, for example. T Java, if you use a one any code, it will be passed to another component you are asking, right? Yeah. Exactly, I'm not getting your question. Sorry. See the output of the T Java. What is the output of the T Java palette? Like uh, T Java will be. There is no output will be there. So we can execute our script. Yeah. yeah. So if there is no output of the T Java, right? Yeah. Where in what cases do you use that? So. Oh, I mean, where did you use T Java? Uh, give me an example. Where so I have used T Java row, like T Java row. You haven't used T Java. I have used T Java row. I have used T Java row. Uh, there is some scenario like uh, so I have to implement on few columns, uh, some operations on few columns. Uh, so instead of using T map, uh, so I have used T Java row. Okay, let us say you want to uh, set the uh, uh, set a variable's value to current date and some uh, and implement, I mean, concatenated with second string, right? So, yeah. which one will you use? T Java or T Java row? Set a variable T value. T Java row, I will use. Okay, so. Uh, when you, I mean, what are the different types of connections? So when you, uh, let us say you you have two different palettes, right? Uh, so when you right click and you want to connect that, I mean, you have uh, to connect one palette to other palette. What are the different types of connections you can? Uh, there are main 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 will be there, and triggers will be there, a link, iterate. Sometimes it will be duplicate, unix. <laughs> so those are six five. Okay, so how do you so which one the I mean did you use any palettes to uh, handle the errors in the law? Tools to handle yeah, palettes. Palettes to handle errors in, in the in a talent. Oh no, I held it. Okay, so you have used sub jobs, right? Yes. So like uh, how do you call a sub job like uh, from from one job, how do you call the other job? Which palette will you use? So if it is a, like a dependency, there one job after one job is execute another. 
then we will leave the aunt of job okay so if there is no independent dependency then we want to make it we can let it run it less than that okay so uh, what's the difference between uh, on component okay and on subject uh, subject okay, okay on on sub job okay will be uh, like a next job will be executed once the total job is completed successfully only so whereas on component will be executed once the component is executed so next uh, next job will be triggered automatically okay so uh, you have said uh, mentioned that you have implemented uh, the cd 1 2 and 3 right? uh, that is like uh, one i have worked on previous project uh, like healthcare system so uh, where i have with data where of project you have implemented active type 2 so i mean are you aware of the uh, what uh, active type 1 2 3 means? i have no other so can you please uh there is cd type one uh, like stores the data will uh, or up the most updated data only so it won't uh, collect the history data whereas a cd type two will collect both updated data and the old history data so what about type three uh, type three sorry i am exactly the not getting that So I'm not exactly remember that SCD type three. Okay. So how do, how did you implement SCD type three? Okay. So in that project, uh, like uh, it is a migration from Oracle to SQL Server, uh, like DBT yeah. to SQL Server, DBT to I mean, SQL uh, Server. You you don't have to get into those details. Let us say you have a source table and a target table. Uh, you want to implement uh, uh, a CD type two from the source to target. So how do you do that? Uh, like uh, uh, what I mean uh, on on a query level. So first we will select the that. Uh, so we'll, uh, there is a primary key will be there. First we will select the max of that key. Okay. Sorry. So if once max of key is we will store it in a context variable or some uh, basic over the okay, context variable. Okay. So first we will check each record. We will check zero by zero, right? Uh, first we will check each record. So it will go to the lookup if the record is present. So there will there is one flag will be there. So it will take a flag as y or n. So y is like a new record. N is for the old record. So if the flag is y. So if it is a existing record. Like we will check whether is there any change. We have in filter we have write some filter conditions. So if the filter if there is any change in this filter only, it has to update with old lookup table. So if otherwise there is no change, it won't update. If there is any change, so it will update. So if if it is a new record, so we will generate a new ID primary key and we will insert into the table. So if you are updating the existing record, right? Yes, updating the existing record. How will the history be maintained? And like uh, based on the flag system, like so if it is a uh, if it is a existing uh, if it is a uh, existing record, so we will check uh, whether uh, if it exists, it will go to the update uh, target table. So we will check. Uh, Is this column sir any changes? So if there is any change, uh, then that uh, that existing flag will be changed to n, and then new record will be ins- like inserted. Okay, can you take an example? Let us say this new uh, your your city has changed uh, from one I mean city one to city two. So yes. so the old table will be having this two and city one as the Uh, currently in the uh, old uh, target tables, and the source table will will uh, is having uh, this new and city two now. So how do you uh, handle that? Uh, so what will be the output after the job has done? So if it is an SD SD two, will the two rows be present in the target table or? Yes, two rows will be included. First target table will be the insert uh, table, and second will be the updated one. So, if there any change, first uh, one the new record will be inserted, and then the second target table, that column, the flag column will be updated. 
so if you if you are saving update right update means changing of the existing record right yeah yeah so in that case how will the old old record be like present how will the history be maintained if you update the record Okay. So we are not, we are inserting for every record we will insert or we will insert like if there is update it will insert and it will update so one row will be inserted so in a target in target table two we will uh, if the, like city name is will change right so that flag will be changed to n that only flag will be changed and uh, updated date will be changed. Like uh, in city two, I have moved to city one to city two, right? And city one, like the flag will be changed to n, and the updated date will be updated, like updated date. I mean, you are not being very clear on this. Uh, it's it's fine. Okay, so how how good are you with SPL? So you've been using SPL, right? So how would you rate yourself with on on a scale of five? Right, I will rate uh, three point five. Okay, good. So, uh, you know how uh, uh, window functions? Did you use window? Uh, no, I haven't used window functions. We mostly use like uh, uh, like we will do the, our uh, simple testing. So when after generating our job, like by uh, running our queries, we will check. So in our project, we have like uh, we have have done uh, modern testing also. So in that cell, we have to check like uh, source system report and our uh, job stats report and then our Power BI report will be. So once we like uh, once our job is executed uh, in our dev, so we will we have to check the counts uh, uh, by generating the SQL queries in backend. So how the ta talent job will uh, execute and provide the counts, how the existing uh, records. Uh, are, count, are getting the counts, and the third one is the how uh, how when you generate the same job with the uh, back end we will generate a SQL queries like how job is working we will generate the SQL queries we will check like that. I, I would like to uh, like to see how you would approach that. So let us say we have an employee table with the uh, salary site right? employee ID employee name and salary. So how okay. do you find uh, the second highest salary in 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 in, in the who is the employee that is uh, 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 getting the second most uh, highest salary? So how do you uh, write a query for that? So first I will generate a rank uh, rank to the table. Okay, so based on like rank, when you say rank, right? What uh, how how will you generate the rank? Uh, rank based on that employee ID, I will generate. So I mean, I would the employee ID order by salary syntax of it. Okay, select the star comma rank uh, of okay. rank over part, uh, partition partition by the like, employee ID order by salary from your okay. table. Okay. So, like in where condition uh, will list salary? Uh, where where like uh, in where condition I will use that uh, the rank name as alias uh, alias something is an like mm -hmm. RNK something. In where condition I will use uh, RNK equals to n percent n. So if I use n percent n, we can uh, pass the value at runtime. So if I enter second, it will give second highest salary. So let us say uh, like there are two people with uh, salary max salary, right? Let us say max salary is ten thousand and uh, there are two employees getting the getting uh, uh, 10,000, right? Yes. Employee one and employee two. So if you say a rank is equal to two, right? Yes. So what what will be the rank for these two um, two records, employee one and employee two, with the same uh, highest salary? So rank so, rank will be same only, right? It will be one one on day. Yes. So in that case, what I mean, what will be the next rank? Will there be two or it will skip to three? Uh, no, it will be like one only. That next rank will be two only, right? So if we have same values, it the rank will be one only. So 
So, do you know the difference between rank and tenth rank? Uh, yes, uh, tenth rank is like uh, if you have same value, so it will give rank to the same person, same rank, like one or one. So, in that uh, for, like if you have two employees with same, and third person will have third rank in tenth rank functionality. <laughs> So you are saying with rank you can get yes. So I mean these are all the window functions, right? So you said you you have to work on window functions. Uh, but I like I never worked on, but I have seen all the test. I have learned my started with career by learning like SQL. So I mean that the I mean uh, I I just want to add a correction to what you have said. If you use rank, right? If there okay. are two or two employees with the same max salary, you will not get rank two. You will, the sec second highest salary will be getting rank three. Okay. If you use dense rank only, then you will get one one, and the next rank will be given two. Okay, I have ten to the right? Okay, okay, got you. Yeah. So I have so, reversed that trend. Yeah, like yeah that it's, trend. Fine. It's, it's totally fine. Uh, this is, yeah, so I think we're good. We're done with uh, 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 what, what we have to ask. So do you, do you have any questions? Uh, no, actually I don't have. For uh, closing this call, what exactly you required from us? Like you asked us to take an interview. So what do you want to check with us? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, uh, it's, I'm start trying actually it's like i'm not working on talent so i'm working on our own company tool <laughs> so when mm -hmm. i'm trying to like uh, shifting jobs uh, our company tool like uh, there's no openings in our side so i'm okay. trying with some other tools so i thought uh, i can get a one interview like uh, in that so it will be good for me so but i can miss talent uh, talent is a software using by many companies you you mentioned that uh, you use tidal scheduler. Yes, tidal also. Is is that also company specific? Uh, no, like tidal is not our tool. So okay. for one project we have is tidal. That is the one project. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like, uh, is there any that you are asking the good questions in interview, but? Uh, is there any like uh, interview questions or document is there uh, we have? Uh, see, uh, Vishnu, actually, uh, if you go through our previous videos, right, especially for interview, yeah. Yeah. you will okay. get so many different, different type of questions from so many people. Okay. okay. And uh, that maybe is sufficient to you to attend an interview uh, in, in your, with your experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what we felt is, okay, you are good at uh, up to some extent and if you have a time and need to learn more things like uh, uh, you you said, right, you are you are working on a talent, but uh, scheduling part is a different, right? But in other companies, scheduler is very different, like Redwood, okay? So we have a OZ, uh, Airflow, so something scheduler are there. So you have to learn that. Right. Okay. So, how you got a knowledge in a talent? The same way you should uh, thorough with the uh, other schedulers. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, SQL is a basic that you know the basics, but still don't stop to learn. You have to continue yeah. with that. And uh, Hive is very much similar to SQL, but uh, that also you should be perfect. And okay. anyway, you have a touch with the uh, uh, shell script. Uh, you okay. keep on continuing with that. Uh, okay. And Python. Okay. Python also, you have to concentrate more because so many companies are using Python in their projects. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. So, what I want to say is, you have to learn a complete circle. Like, uh, right from the development and then testing and then scheduling and then, you know, troubleshooting. So, all the knowledge you have to have. So that you may have so much explore in the market. 
so much opportunity you will get it if you stick with the only one tool then there are very less chances okay uh, yes yes Yes, Do you, you want to add anything else to him? Yeah. So, uh, Vishnu, I really appreciate your like uh, the way you have uh, uh, you wanted you you have approached us uh, even though you are not feeling quite good. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, one thing I would say is like you you don't have to uh, like uh, doubt uh, you don't have to keep any doubt on yourself uh, uh, saying I will prepare first and then attend interviews and stuff. you you can directly go and attend interviews so the thing uh, is that as you keep interviewing right you would you would have a better idea on how to uh, uh approach these questions so uh, as you go through as you gain experience at like one to one to three interviews right so by then you will have a better idea of uh, what what how, what are all the areas that you that is being used in 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 uh, uh, interviews or uh, let us say in, in projects so so don't uh, uh, wait for the right time or something you uh, can start applying and uh, actually i have applied like uh, i have i am applying that i have selected on job also like in talent yeah that is good <laughs> so when i have yeah well, they got got on job also in talent only uh, but there is a notice to issue that i am talking with my management <laughs> so, okay uh, Okay, doctor. Is there any areas that I have to improve in my uh, talent? Yeah. So I mean, one thing I would say is like you have to be very clear on what you are trying to say. So okay. But but uh, one example is that right. So when I ask you to explain like uh, the SCD two of taking a source and a target, you were saying like target table one and target table two, and then you have said uh, we only have. Uh, uh no 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 we have only have one table one only one target table not two target tables and e- even after that you are saying we'll update we'll update the record okay okay so so, so much clarity needed yeah yeah so you should you should like uh, work on that more clarity i mean the better the interviewer understands what you are trying to say that that, that would be much better okay okay all the best vishnu Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye. Take care, man. Uh, congrats on your uh, getting your job. Yeah, thank you. Right, <laughs> Vishnu. Thank you.